Good day, everyone. My name is Hossein Kasmai, CEO and founder of Franchise Creator. Today, I'm highlighting one of our clients in the cereal and sweets industry. This industry has seen some significant growth in the franchise world in the past few years. This is a simple business to start and can be operated with extremely low overhead. This particular concept was started by two young entrepreneurs who believed and acted on their dreams. I'm very excited to learn more about their entrepreneurial goals. Let's go inside and see what this business is all about and let's find out if this franchise is the right opportunity for you. Welcome to Milky Ways. So I'm here today with co-founders of Milky Ways Cereal Bar, uh, Chelsea and Kevin. It's a pleasure to be with both of you today. Thank you. Um, Likewise. And um, so I want you to tell me and the audience uh, a little bit about your background, who you guys are, how did you start this business, and let the audience know really who the two of you guys are. Very young entrepreneurs, and that's what I'm really excited about. Um, so pretty much the way we started, um, my whole family background, we are business owners. My dad, my brothers. So, you know, that's always been a passion of mine, something I've always wanted to do growing up, be my own boss. Everybody wants to be their own boss. So, you know, with time, I had gone to school for firefighting, paramedics, and then in between all of that, I had a career change. I got the opportunity to open up a business with my cousin who came down from Puerto Rico and we had decided that we loved the idea of a cereal bar, something super exclusive. Nobody has it here in South Florida. And you know, the idea came to us and then one day to the next, the name came to us. So just little by little, we started putting pieces together just to kind of promote the idea to my father and her father, who were the people who pretty much initially invested, yeah, invested in our business at the beginning. So once we got all of that going, people at the beginning did not believe in the idea, but we never no gave one. up. We did not give up. We kept going. We kept showing proof how it was going to be a successful idea and how we were not going to mess it up and how confident we were in each other to be able to actually pull through. Exactly. We've had a million milestones. Speed, no, not only that, just the speed bumps that we've gone through that stops us and we're like, oh my God, we're not going to be able to make it. But you know, this ends up pulling through, we call this person, it works out and we keep going. And we yeah. just never let anything stop us on the way here. You know, that's the craziest thing. See, uh, you know, earlier before we started filming, we were talking about how you guys are the youngest clients that we at Franchise Creator have had. So, you know, your cousins, you're in your early 20s, you know, and um, you had a lot of milestones to open this business, right? Entrepreneurship. Um, is difficult. It's extremely complex, but um, you know, I always say the road to the top is very bumpy, but the view from the top is just simply amazing. So you're on your way to the top, and you know, obviously, we're going to talk about <clears throat> the franchise part of this business. But you know, you mentioned to me something very interesting off camera, and I want it. I want everyone to kind of to hear this because I found it fascinating. When you signed the lease for this location, you were so young that uh, the landlord wouldn't want to sign it. So you had to get, what, your father to yeah. co-sign? Yeah, his father. I had to co-sign it because I was only 20 by the time. <laughs> <laughs> but these are the stories that really make, um, you know, uh, it brings light to what entrepreneurship is all about. You know, it's not just as simple as, oh, I've got an idea, let me go open a store. There's a lot of milestones that you have yeah. to, you know, uh, pass and meet and so forth and so on. So tell me about Milky Ways. Um, uh, why did you come up with that name, uh, Chelsea? The reason we came up with that name because we were thinking about the concept and we knew that the cereal has milk. And then we were thinking about the different concepts that we were, we were going to offer. So we said, why not Milky Ways? It's not the same as Milky Way, the galaxy or the chocolate bar, but it's just like different ways of milk. You know, so it's kind of, it summarizes a concept that we offer. I like it. I like it. So it's basically uh, telling people that you can do a lot of different things with milk. So tell me about your products. What is it um, that you guys, what, obviously I don't want you to go through the entire menu, but you know, what exactly is it that you guys offer in this place? Yeah, our menu is very simple. We only have three products. We have the milky shake, it's a milkshake. We have the ice cream, and then we have a customized serve 
So what we do, we infuse the cereal inside the ice cream and we make it uh, easy enough for the customers to customize their own. We have over 20 cereals, we have over 18 toppings, we have over eight drizzles, and we also offer coffee, since it's Miami. Since it's Miami. But if it's outside of Miami, for those people that are starting this business in other places, they have the choice to do coffee or not to do exactly. coffee. Exactly, it's yeah. up to them if they want to do the coffee or not because we also offer a coffee product, a coffee milkshake that's sold really good and efficient. So it's up to the franchisees to actually if they want coffee or not. So this is not really an ice cream joint. This is a cereal bar. So, you know, people come in here, you 20 different cereals that they can choose from. So they, how does the process start? They come in, what's the first thing to do? Choose your cereal, choose your milk. Well, at first you start, um, you decide whether you want to choose a milky cup or cone or the shake. So if you're in the mood to eat ice cream, you can choose a cup or cone. If you want to drink a milkshake, you can also uh, pick the milky shake. Um, but the best thing about it is not only do we allow you to pick your favorite cereal, we allow you to mix your favorite cereal. All included with our, our, our prices, you know, you're capable of mixing up to four different cereals. So you can go from Fruity Pebbles to Cocoa Pebbles to Reese's Puffs, all in one milkshake. Um, <clears throat> we also offer vanilla and chocolate ice cream. So it's not only just the vanilla base, you can do a little bit of chocolate, mix it in. We also have our vegan options, which is to us our most important product because now things are changing. Sure. People like the healthier option. Yeah, we have like a lot of people that are dairy free as well and kids. Yeah. It's actually super I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, no, like it's super oh, sad. Yeah, allergies as well. Yeah. You know? Absolutely, yeah. So that almond oh, milk or almond, yeah. soy whatever. We course. offer almond milk for the milkshakes. As well. Perfect. As well. Yeah. So definitely the vegan product uh, alone um, sets us aside from most of our competitors because although they have that Oh, you know, the, let's say a vegan cookie dough ice cream. We provide that and some. You can create your own vanilla vegan ice cream. We allow you to put your topping of cookie dough inside. You can throw in some cereal as well. If you want to mix brownie bits in there. We literally let you do whatever makes have you happy. Have fun with it. Literally. Um, we also have our signature menus, which are pre-mixed. So, you know, there's some people who can't decide, who don't know what they like. Right. So we also offer those signature menus so they're able to choose from there, simple and easy. So, um, Kevin, is uh, this particularly your, your client base are kids? Are they a mix of adults and kids? Um, what is it? So, realistically, um, during the daytime is more of a family time. You see more of the families, the young kids, um, you know, the aunts, uncles taking their nieces and nephews. Grandparents, I see it all the time too. All their grandchildren. That's the main thing and our first few hours of opening. Once the sun starts to dip down, that's where the teenagers, college kids, maybe, you know, parents in their 30s. All dates. of them, they yeah, dates coming out and <laughs> here. Cause you know, like we're not only a cereal bar, we also are a lounge. So we allow our customers to not only come and get their delicious ice cream, but they can take a seat, play board games with their family. Video games. We play TV, so we have Netflix, Disney Plus, anything they'd like to watch. And we also have a video game station, so they can play PS4, they can play Xbox, Nintendo Switch, whichever they like. So we're- That's fantastic. Full, yeah. So it's like an experience yeah. when they come here, right? So they, what, an average customer spends what? 15, 20 minutes here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe yeah. like 10, to well, be honest. Just for the ice cream, depending on how busy you are, if we're not too busy, it takes about five minutes to make your ice cream. Yeah. I like it. So it's uh, a little bit of a treat with, uh, with an experience that goes along with it. What's the, just so that we understand what the average ticket here is, you know, so that we, we know what the pricing looks like. What, do you, what is a, an average customer spend when they come in here? I would say it would be like $13 and that's for two, like two people. Oh, two uh, people? Yeah. So average person spends about seven bucks, six fifty, seven, seven dollars? Yeah, from seven to nine dollars at most. Okay. okay, fantastic. So in a bit, you're gonna show me around and you're gonna show me exactly how to make some of these products and so forth and so on. So this, 
I understand that you've taken the step to franchise the business with us, with Franchise Creator, and uh, we're excited about that, right? We want to see this brand grow and become a national brand, and we're going to obviously do everything we can to make that happen. Um, why did you start? What, uh, Chelsea, what was the idea behind franchising? Why did you think of franchising this, this concept? Right, since we opened, since we came up with the idea, we always wanted to expand our doors. Like we always knew that th this was a really good concept to not to share with the rest of the world. So when we heard about you guys, like Kevin, this is the perfect idea. Like we just have to go with it. We, we cannot think much about it because if we don't expand, uh, people are they're just going to be missing out, you know? It's an experience that I think everybody should go through. Of course. And, you know, you're in a very interesting industry, sweets in general. Um, you can call it, um, this can be considered cereal as breakfast, but in, re in, in reality, what you're serving is just the sweets, right? That it's a treat. Sweets and treat, this industry in franchising has been, has been, rising significantly in the last number of years. People are liking uh, this industry much more than you know other uh, food type industries and there a lot of uh, franchise buyers are concentrating on this. So you see this sector growing day after day. So uh, your your timing is absolutely uh, perfect. So as far as the franchise is concerned, um, I assume you're looking to grow anywhere in the United States, correct? So what type of a person are you looking for to buy into this franchise? Are you looking for someone that has an experience? And before you answer it, I'm gonna say, well, the two of you are extremely young. You started this with little to no experience. So I'm assuming the answer is that you really don't need someone with experience, right? So tell me about it. Talk yes, about we it. actually, we're not looking for anyone who has a lot of experience in the business area because like you said, like we were new to all of this, we were young. So we're just looking for someone who's passionate about growing our brand and going their own, on their own and then be their own bosses and be entrepreneurs. Like just anyone who's actually like available to grow on their own and grow ourselves too. And you provide the training here at this location? It could be here, it could be at the place, at the location they're gonna open. Okay. It depends where it's gonna be located. Okay, so you'll decide whether you want them to come here in Miami and get trained at this location, exactly. or if you decide to go there and train Yeah, we're flexible about that. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. We'll just Whatever make it makes it easier for the franchisee, anything. Yeah. All right, so um, talk about the store itself. This is obviously a retail operation, so I assume you need to be in a retail environment, perhaps a shop. This is in a shopping mall, yeah. uh, a, a strip center, if you will. It, it, what kind of a location do you suggest your franchisees to look into? Um, the buying or leasing? And also, what size store do you recommend uh, they should get into? Definitely. So, what we highly recommend is getting into a really good shopping center that already brings great foot traffic. For a new franchisee, I highly recommend either a brand new plaza or a popular plaza with, with great a lot of locations. Traffic. Yeah, good restaurants, good shopping stores, whatever the case is, as long as they know that that is a very popular shopping plaza. As far as the space inside, if they want to go with the full experience with the lounge, the seating, the area for the kids, all of that, video games, um, we highly recommend a location between 1,400 square feet, more or less, 1,000 to about 1,500 square yeah. feet, okay. more or less. That's what I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. About um, 1,000. It, it doesn't need to be too big. If, if you're capable of um, mm -hmm. arranging your seats and everything, you can squeeze everything in perfectly sure. fine. Um, we, you know, And there's also people who don't want to deal with the lounge. We completely understand. So they can go with a, a location that's 800 square feet where they have a beautiful counter, space for their storage, and they have maybe a few tables and chairs for people to sit inside and out, outside as well. Um, so more or less, we are looking for a great shopping plaza for our future stores. There's a few shops in the shopping center that are extremely popular that has helped us grow. Of course. Um, it has helped us put our name out there um, and as well as the owners of this shopping center are always looking to help us grow our business with either bringing in better store locations, 
promoting our business within our, the shopping center. So something I highly recommend for any franchisee is to find um, owners of a shopping plaza that actually care about yeah, our business. Yeah, good landlords. Landlords are super, yeah, super important. Super important because if they care about you, they'll do everything in their yeah. power. They'll give you money if they need to to help you build your store. So I think to sum what you said, which is a very important point, is that when you choose a location in a shopping center or wherever you choose, make sure you understand, A, you, you, you get along with the landlord exactly. and they kind of see your vision and your business model. And B, make sure that the stores that are in that shopping center which become your neighbors are gonna be ones that bring traffic to exactly. your store in other words obviously it's always good to have anchor stores you know um, big brands and shopping uh, locations that bring traffic in but at the same time you want to have um, other businesses that kind of send people your way right so you kind of work uh, at good neighbors really what, what yeah what, because at the end of the day we're all helping each other you know Exactly, exactly, exactly. So tell me um, uh, a little bit about uh, the franchise itself. I look at the store uh, and I see that this is a very simple operation. This is not one uh, like a restaurant that takes nine months to get started, 12 months to get started. This is a simple operation um, with some seating, some counter, and then of course some very nice hip decoration that you guys have put together, which I like very much. Um, a, a typical store like this, um, what is the typical time that it takes to launch something like this? Do you recommend franchisees to look for um, second generation ice cream shops, perhaps, you know, ice cream shops that have been in business in the past and kind of remodel them? Or do you recommend them to start from scratch? They could start from scratch because at the end of the day, we did not follow it like any guides and ice cream shops. We just try, we try to create like our own kind of vibe and experience for the customers. So that's why we, for us, it's really important to have a really good, nice place for marketing itself as well. And to make people feel like comfortable enough, you know, and make it look simple for all kinds of ages and just not be boring, you know. That's why we also ex uh, offer the TV shows, the games, the board games, the, everything. It's more like a nostalgia. Yeah. Because the cereal and nostalgia, it comes hand to hand, you know. When I was a kid, I used to eat cereal all the time, and him, like, he's a crazy fan about cereal. He can literally <laughs> eat cereal every day. So, That's fantastic. What's your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal, I would say, is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And yours, Kevin. <laughs> See, I don't really have a favorite. I can go from Frosted Flakes to Apple Jacks to Cookie Crisp to Fruity Pebbles to Fruity Pebbles. I, 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 I personally like to mix multiple cereals in the same bowl and I, I get pretty... The Reese's and the Cinnamon Toast Crunch together? Amazing. Oh yeah? I gotta try that. I gotta try delicious. that. Yeah. Delicious, delicious. With almond milk for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. So, okay, so this is a franchise. Look, I, I when I look at this, I say this is also, there's a great opportunity for people that are looking for a franchise to find a an ice cream shop or a, um, a location similar to this that doesn't necessarily have a lot of equipment, the hood, the kitchen and all of that, um, that has potentially gone out of business to get that because your, your build out is gonna be significantly less, less expensive. Um, you have some uh, very unique decoration that you put together. They just applied that unique decoration, put the culture and the character that you guys want into the store, the TV, the game area and all of that. And then that becomes your store. In that situation, they can be up and running in probably 60 days or something like that. Now the build out from scratch may take a little bit longer. So I think that might be actually a very good idea. Whatever is easiest for the franchisee, look, we love to save money. We love to make things as cheap sure. as possible. Of course. Um, our overhead here is actually ridiculously low compared to most ice cream shops. Um, that is also because me and her work all the time. You know, we're doing it between us two for now, trying to build the brand, sure. make sure we get our foot traffic yeah. in that we need. Um, but other than that, it's relatively a very low overhead um, and it's definitely simple to, to run, um, to have employees working here. It's, it's nothing too difficult that nobody can accomplish. I would say the hardest part is actually like getting the hang of making the ice cream a good swirl. Anything but that is super easy. There's nothing complicated and no one could learn, yeah. you know, like 
uh, training our employees that we have right now. It's been super simple. All we ask for is a good customer service. Like for us, our product and our customer service are, are top two. And yeah, and after that, the experience itself. So we always try to have everyone come in with a smile and leave with a bigger smile yet. Fantastic, yeah, you know, I, it's something you don't know about me. My first job ever when I was in high school was an ice cream shop. I actually worked at Dairy Queen. So uh, I make it really nice for them. So. <laughs> she tried this one. <laughs> I will. It's a little different because we, like, it mixes itself. So it's, oh, not, cool. it's not a machine that the ice cream's already inside. Yeah, like it's hard scooped ice cream that we mix into it. It's a mixing machine, so we put the hard scoop. And it, it is a trick that you have to get you know, used to when you're pushing the ice cream sure. out. So it's a lot more difficult, but easy. So finally, tell me about marketing. Um, we live in a digital world, right? This is the, uh, the age where everything is done online. I assume, and I've seen, um, that you guys are active on Instagram, right? So is Instagram the main source of marketing for franchisees that come on? Because everything you do is obviously these are beautiful pieces, you know, it, it, it's their Instagram quality type of products that you put out there as far yeah, as pictures. Yeah, presentation is actually key to everything. It sure is. So is that a method for marketing that you um, recommend for franchisees? That is... Right now, our main source of marketing, definitely. Is it the most important one? Um, that really depends on the type of business you own uh, relatively for our business. It is and it is because Instagram is important. People love the visuals, love to see what we provide, our videos, our reels, all of that, they love it. Um, but that only brings so much traffic. At the end of the day, you still have to attack all the people who aren't on Instagram, who are, you know, just your everyday family people that they... Yeah, depending on the area you're going to open the store, then you need to target that specific area yeah. for the marketing. Even though Instagram is a really important key because it's a different concept. So we want people to know that cereal and ice cream is a thing and something to get their attention, you know? So we try to have our presentation Instagram on point, but yes, like he said, the marketing in the local area, it's the second most important thing. Definitely. Well, I can't wait to see the store. So looking forward to you guys uh, showing me around. Let's make a few of these uh, uh, products and let the audience see what it looks like. All right, let's do it. So Chelsea, Kevin, we're here behind the counter. Show me how you make some of the most popular items here. Perfect, we're gonna make you a milkshake that's called Cookie Chaos. It's okay. Oreo O's and Cookie Crisp mixed together. Cookie Chaos. Cookie Chaos. I like that. All right, <laughs> let's see what you got. So here we got four flavors of ice cream. So here you only have four. So we got three. Three. Yes, we got the there's vanilla, we got the vegan vanilla, and we got the chocolate one. So there's only three flavors. Three All flavors. the stores are gonna have only three flavors. Exactly. All right, got it. So that was cereal you added. You yeah, we it. added the cookie crisp and the Oreo O cereal. Okay. We put a nice little fudge drizzle inside the cup for our milk. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Sir. That looks fantastic. And also this machine is self-cleaning. So it makes it easy, fast, oh. to just keep going, keep moving. You don't have to Take anything apart, and it's ready for the next one. Just ready like for that. the next one already. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, so, so okay, so that's your shake. Yeah. Shake. All right. So that shake, um, you just if if do you do you provide that shake for delivery also? Yep. People yes. order for the really. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. This one's a little bit more difficult to keep cool. Um, that's why our deliveries are only five mile radius. Yeah. So even five miles is about ten minutes. This should be fine. So Got it. Got it, got it. Okay, so let's make another. Let's do it. All right. Right now we're going to be making uh, what we call Fruity Licious. It's Fruity Pebbles, Tricks, and Fruit Loops. With right. vanilla ice cream. This is a shake also. No, that's an ice cream cup. Ice cream cup. Yeah. We're going to put it inside of a waffle bowl. Okay. Oh, look at that. So what's inside the waffle? Okay, that's, that's cereal. So this is a cereal. We got Fruity Pebbles, Tricks, and Fruit Loops all mixed in there. Nice. So then now, 
Oh wow, man, this machine is amazing. <laughs> It also makes it all infused, nice soft served ice cream. Like I said, self cleaning, so quick and easy. So that took probably all but 20 seconds to make. Yeah, exactly. take it like two minutes at most to yeah. make the entire product for a customer. Okay, so what's the price of that uh, that ice cream right there? Six dollars. Both of them. Both of them six dollars. And the ice cream, both six dollars. And it both comes with a topping and a drizzle included. So I that's that's that it, it looks great. You just basically put a put a straw in that one and maybe a spoon in this one and you Yeah, we to put go. the toppings and then people what? eat it. Okay, so now the toppings is selectable. People can exactly. choose whatever. Exactly. We got they over want. 18 toppings and we got over eight drizzles. No, right, just put some toppings on it. For the milkshake, we're gonna be doing some cookie crisp on top and we're also gonna be putting some oil crumbs and some marshmallow drizzles. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Famous marshmallow drizzle. So good. Alright, wow. and then for the That looks amazing. Tastes even better. <laughs> oh, right. I and for the that. ice cream, we're gonna put some strawberry drizzle. With our famous Lucky Charm marshmallows. I can see how the training is gonna be so simple for someone to learn this. Everything you did, I feel like anyone can do really quickly. I mean, exactly. it's not like... And then we're gonna top it off with some fruity pebbles. On. And that's it, and there you have it. We're gonna put a spoon in there, right? So those cups that you see there, those are our new printed cups. Everything says Milky Ways, so that's what franchisees would utilize as exactly. well. Exactly, so they're they can... brand new cups, so... Okay, good, I like it. So, so obviously franchisees would start off with everything branded, everything very professionally presented. I love that. <laughs> so, you know, this is what I consider the back of the house, right? In every restaurant or food establishment. And I'm looking at this and it's so simple. There's nothing. There's a triple sink. There's a freezer, I assume. And then some inventory items. And that's and that's all you got. I mean, there's really not a whole lot going on. And that's exactly what you guys were talking about when you said it's a very simple operation to start. Inventory and all of that, minor. This is not a whole lot of inventory. And a lot of this inventory is not perishable. This is inventory that sits for a long time. Am I correct in that? Yes. So <clears throat> this whole back here is probably all but maybe 150 square foot. This is not a whole lot. And then of course you have the front of the house that we talked about. So this is extremely exciting for people that want to get started in a business and be able to get started very quickly. Again, you know, most restaurants take nine months, 12 months to build. This is simple, so. Yeah. That's if they go with a plain unit, exactly. but if they go with a second generation, it could be as easy as 30 to 60 days. Exactly. Wonderful. So I want to thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to learn more about your business. And, you know, I appreciate the fact that you guys are young. Young entrepreneurs, honestly, are my favorite because that's how I started in this business. And you know, I was very young when I started my first business. And I remember those days, the motivation that's in your mind and the goals and the dreams and everything else. So, and I see you guys have accomplished so much at such a young age. So honestly, it brings chills to my skin when I, when I, when I see this. So I, again, you know, um, keep, keep, keep going. And with franchising, this is gonna be a nationwide concept anyways. So for more information about this exciting opportunity, please visit their website, milkywayscerealbar.com, our website, franchisecreator.com, or simply email us info at franchisecreator.com. We look forward to hearing from you so that we can guide you on how this business can be started in your city. Thank you so much.